Hi, it's Katrina. From whispering ghosts to mysterious life forms hiding in the dark, here are 10 of the creepiest things discovered in mines. Number 10. The Whispering Ghosts A man decided to explore an old abandoned gold mine. Rather than having a fun adventure or discovering something incredible, this guy unwittingly walked into a nightmare of his own making. He filmed his descent into the cavernous depths of the mine, which is already a scary thing to do. But when he hit the floor, he managed to record a host of creepy whispering voices, as if there were spirits living inside the mine. The mine he went into dates back 150 years. It's called the Waldeck Mine, located in Australia. To be honest, it was already creepy even before the whispering voices began. The brave explorer started walking to the chorus of the ghostly whispers, so he stopped. The moment he stopped, the voices stopped as well. But the moment he began moving again, the whispers commenced and grew even louder. Was it a warning of some kind? He couldn't figure out if it was the wind, if there were birds, maybe a hive of snakes stirring inside somewhere making the terrible noise, or just what in the world was going on. But he got so spooked that he turned the camera around and fled the mine as quickly as he could. He said that he has heard some weird stuff before, but that this was definitely creepy. Some people have since claimed the mine is filled with demons. Others say the whispering voices may have come from the spirits of miners who perished long ago in the old and abandoned mine, warning him to get out. Number 9. The Tsar's Bones One of the greatest mysteries of the 20th century was what happened to the missing Romanovs. The last Tsar of Russia, Nicholas II, along with his wife and children were taken by Russian revolutionaries and transported from place to place. In 1918, the Bolsheviks shocked the world when they announced that they had killed the Tsar. The new government announced that his wife and children were being cared for in an undisclosed location, but after many months, it was suspected the family had also been murdered by a firing squad. For many years, the circumstances surrounding their death remained a secret until the fall of the Soviet Union. In 1991, in a Russian mine, the bones of the lost Tsar were found after 70 years. Tsar Nicholas II, his wife Alexandra, and their kids were all brutally assassinated in 1918, and then their remains were tossed casually into a mine shaft at the edge of Ekaterinburg. They tried to cover their tracks by throwing a grenade in after them, but it was too shallow, and they were forced to cast them back down into the mine shaft again. Local had heard rumors and had found bones, but were so afraid of the consequences that they had covered them back up again. The mine shaft was found very deep in the woods where not many would think to look. The Russian Orthodox Church feared that this was just another false discovery, but scientists were able to compare the DNA of the bones in the shaft to blood from a shirt that Nicholas II had worn during an assassination attempt in Japan back in 1891. Because of a rare genetic mutation in his blood, the match was easy. These were definitely his bones and the bones of his family, except two children were missing. In 2007, their remains were also found six miles away from the rest of the family, and it was clear they did not die peacefully. Those who discovered them said they were glad that finally the Romanov children would be reunited with the rest of their family, laid to rest in St. Petersburg. Number 8. Mummified Monster At a diamond mine in the remote Siberian town of Udakni, miners have discovered a treasure of a very unique variety. Instead of diamonds, these guys stumbled upon what has been called a monster mummy. They suspect it could be an ancient dinosaur from millions of years ago. Either that, or the creature was some kind of wolverine, large rodent, miniature bear, or something else small and furry with big claws. Basically, it could be anything. The average daily temperature where the monster was found is about minus 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Because of this, whatever the creepy monster had been in life, it managed to be perfectly preserved while hiding inside the freezing mine. The mine itself was actually formed by an atomic bomb that was detonated 322 feet underground back in 1974. Some have speculated the strange creature could be the direct result of atomic radiation. Scientific experts were quick to rule out any kind of monster. Regardless of the sub-zero temperatures now, in the days of the dinosaurs and indeed for millions of years after, the landscape would have been different and warmer. Based on its teeth and body shape, Shape, experts said the monster was probably an otter, a badger, a weasel, or even a ferret, anything that belongs to the Mustelidae animal family, and it probably was not a radioactive beast. Even though we don't know right now, we will soon, as the remains of the mummified creature have been taken to the regional capital of Yakutsk to be properly studied. And now for number 7. But first, would you dare descend into an abandoned mine? Let me know in the comments below. 
And I wanted to give a big shout out to Deborah Lynn Evans and Teso Saros. Thanks so much for watching this channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 7. Skin Flint's Gold Mine In North Carolina, there was a man known as Skin Flint McIntosh. He owned his very own mine back in the early 1800s, and Skin Flint was keen on making it rich. However, he was a greedy man. To make more money, he sought the expert services of a veteran miner named Joe McGee. Joe quickly became concerned because of how little Skinflint seemed to care about the safety of his workers. So Joe asked Skinflint that if he were to die, could he pay his widow a handsome $1,000 in life insurance? In response, Skinflint said that he would double it and pay her $2,000. So Joe went to work in the mines. But unfortunately, Joe didn't make it home one night. His wife gathered a small search party and they went down into Skinflint's mine, but couldn't find the guy anywhere. There was no sign of him, and it didn't even seem that there had been a cave-in. Several weeks passed and it was obvious Joe had died under very suspicious circumstances. So his widow went to Skinflint and demanded her $2,000. Instead of paying her, he claimed her husband had left her and run away, so he wasn't giving her a dime. Then he slammed the door in her face. This is where the story gets a little eerie. Joe apparently showed up to his friend's house as a ghost and told him that Skinflint had cut costs on building the mine and the unsafe timbers had given way and he had died in the collapse. The next day, the man led everyone back into the mine and they discovered Joe's body right where the ghost had promised. McIntosh paid the widow her $2,000. But the whole point is that even to this very day, Skinflint's mine is haunted by the ghost of Joe, who can be heard wailing and crying deep in the dark and creepy shafts of the mine. Number 6. The Killing Fields Something absolutely horrifying was discovered inside a mine shaft in Zimbabwe. Over 600 bodies were found in a remote part of the country buried indiscriminately inside of a disused gold mine. They raised a huge stir in the country because nobody was quite sure where the bodies had come from. What had happened here? Who were these people? Some claimed the bodies were the victims of colonial atrocities committed by the British forces back in the 1900s. Journalists argue that supporters of the president are using this argument as propaganda. The president told everyone to go visit the mine to observe human rights violations firsthand and for schools to take the children on field trips to the horrific site. But evidence found by scientists pointed to something different. The remains are much more recent with pathologists saying the bodies were likely less than 30 years old. They may have even been the victims of politically motivated murders and election violence. The exhumed skeletons were placed in piles with sheets and blankets. Hair and clothing was clearly visible, and researchers and journalists were shocked at the stench. Marina Stein, a forensic anthropologist at the University of Pretoria in South Africa, said human remains should not retain a strong stench after 30 years. Usually, when we have remains that are lying around for more than a few years, the bones are no longer odorous, she said. This part of the country saw extreme fighting with President Mugabe's guerrilla forces taking over, and it is most likely that these people are from that time period. Number 5. Car Graveyard 200 feet underground in Britain, a mysterious car graveyard filled with over 100 vehicles from the 1970s has been discovered. The trashed remains of the cars were found dumped at the bottom of an abandoned mine, once used for harvesting slate. The discovery was made in North Wales, with the cars themselves piled high in the stagnant mine water. The rusted old vehicles were actually discovered by urban explorers who had to spelunk into the mine using rope, climbing down vertically 65 feet to the bottom. And there, hidden beneath the ground, was a small army of abandoned vehicles. But just what were these vehicles doing trapped inside the mine? Nobody's really sure. The slate mine opened way back in 1836, and quarrying went on at the site until 1960, when it was abruptly abandoned. Mm. Seeing as the car mm. seemed to be from the 70s, mm. they must have been dumped into mm. the mine much later. Perhaps someone had used it as a dumping ground for scrapped cars. It's impossible to say what happened, or even how in the world they got all the cars down there in the first place. Number 4. Tommy Knockers Tommy Knockers may just be the creepiest things that do or don't exist inside of mines. The legend of the Tommy Knockers goes back centuries. Whenever old miners heard knocks coming from inside a mine, they took it as a sign that the mine was about to collapse. This was almost always correct. To make sense of the mysterious knocking, Miners came up with the legend of the Tommy Knockers, who were said to be small men dressed in mining outfits who warned miners before disaster. They are believed to be the spirits of miners who died in the mine. They can either warn living miners of disaster or be mischievous if the miners disrespect their presence. 
Oddly enough, the Tommyknockers are not a local phenomenon, meaning they've allegedly been spotted by miners all over the world. They are said to be about two feet tall, looking like disgruntled little gnomes. They are sometimes accompanied by strange glowing lights and weird mist. The deeper into the ground the miners tunnel, the more likely they are to come across Tommy Knockers. They are also known for eating miners' lunches, knocking off their hats, and hiding their tools. Of course, Tommy Knockers probably aren't real and were just superstitious nonsense dreamed up by miners as a way to cope with the grungy, scary, and often deadly conditions in which they worked. But better to be safe than sorry and respect the knocking sounds just in case. Number 3. Bicycle Pete at the Sterling Hill Mine in Ogdensburg, there were 77 deaths between 1897 and 1986. It was operated by the New Jersey Zinc Company, and ever since its closure, people have reported witnessing paranormal activity inside the creepy confines of the abandoned mine. This includes sightings of shadowy figures, whispers and voices, and ghostly faces appearing in the windows of buildings. There are over 65 miles of tunnels here, and according to some people, each inch of them is haunted to this very day. At its deepest, the mine is 2,850 feet below the surface, with 19 levels of pure psychological horror. One of the most famous legends having to do with the mine is somebody named Bicycle Pete. After the mine shut down in 1986, young Pete continued to ride his bike around the town until one day he vanished without a trace and was never seen again. His bicycle was later recovered from inside the mine shaft, and his ghost was soon seen haunting the place. Locals in the area believe Pete was coaxed into the mine by malevolent spirits, and now he's lingering near the entrance, doing the same and trying to tug strangers into the mine to die. Number 2. Mammoth Bones A mining crew in Canada discovered a collection of very strange bones while working inside of a mine in Dawson City, Yukon. The team had been busy excavating at Little Flake Mine when they came across a mysterious giant tusk. The miners continued digging, at which point they began to find bones nearly as large as the miners themselves. It turned out they had stumbled upon an ancient burial ground of mammoths. Mammoths aren't really creepy, though finding a five-foot thigh bone can certainly be a little off-putting when working inside a mine. According to what one of the workers said, it was one of the best days he had ever had at work. Throughout the day, he was picking bones, teeth, and all kinds of other things out of the dirt. Of course, none of the miners got to keep the bones. The Yukon government quickly stepped in and took possession of all of the uncovered artifacts. The government said they would take them back to study them. What's really interesting is that these were not the first mammoth bones to be found in the Yukon. Just a few years prior, miners working in the Klondike Goldfield came across a complete mammoth skull over three feet long. It was found by a night shift employee while digging in the mud with an excavator. Number 1. Creepy Life Forms 350 miles from Toronto is the Kid Mine, where Canadian workers mine zinc and copper. It's one of the deepest mines on the planet, 7,900 feet beneath the surface of the ground in complete darkness and where the water has not been disturbed for nearly 2 billion years, miners discovered a plethora of strange and creepy life forms. According to NBC News, scientists had doubted anything could live in such hostile and extreme conditions. But in July of 2019, when a team of researchers from the University of Toronto inspected the mine, they reported finding a population of exceptional living microbes. Of course, they didn't find creepy bats or giant worms so deep beneath the surface. Instead, they found single-celled organisms living inside the mine. These organisms are unique because they don't need oxygen. They breathe sulfur compounds. And rather than needing sunlight to thrive, they get nourishment from the chemicals in the surrounding rocks. One of their favorite minerals for eating is called pyrite, also known as fool's gold. This was actually an exciting discovery for the world because scientists say that if life can survive nearly 8,000 feet beneath the rock inside a shallow cavity devoid of oxygen and sunlight, life can almost certainly develop under any condition, meaning there could be life forms on planets that we previously thought uninhabitable. Thanks for watching! Which mine would you dare to visit? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos. See you later! Bye!